If you have an iPhone, you have one of these. Now, Apple's killing it, opening a new frontier to faster, better charging. I wanted to kill the cube harder, under 40 tons of hydraulic pressure. The time has come. Why such anger? For years, millions have suffered from its slow charging speeds. But now, it's finally dead. You will not be missed. With the new iPhone 12, Apple will no longer ship the charger in the box. We are removing these items from the iPhone box, which reduces carbon emissions and avoids the mining and use of precious materials. Not only that, but Apple is including a lightning to USB-C cord in the box, though still keeping the lightning port on the iPhone. Bye-bye standard USB port on the other end of the cord. Plus, Apple has engineered the new iPhone 12 models to support faster wireless charging with a magnetic disc in the back. It locks into place on this new $39 Apple MagSafe charger. It's a big change, but it's also a great change. Here's why. Over the past few years, battery charging has rapidly evolved, allowing for smaller, faster charging bricks that can power up most of your gadgets. And it's become pretty complicated with different standards and tech names. GAN, PD, Amperage? Yeah, it can make your brain feel like. So how do you charge your freaking phone? I've tested nearly 30 different chargers and broken it all down. Okay, first, the best chargers for charging just your phone. This is the old Apple 5-watt charger. And this is the $20 Augkey Omnia Mini 20-watt charger. Same size, same price, except look at this. It took nearly four hours to charge a dead iPhone 11 with this 5-watt charger. The same size 20-watt charger took just 30 minutes to go to 50%, and then one hour and 45 minutes to charge all the way up. What's up with that? The iPhone 11, which I use for my testing, can accept up to 22 watts of power, at least during the first part of its fast charging cycle. This AUG key sends 20 watts. This charger has another key difference from the old 5 watt too. It has this USB-C port, and USB-C is capable of faster charging. Many USB-C chargers also are capable of a standard called power delivery, often referred to as PD. If you have an iPhone 8 or later, it has support. Think of it like a conversation. First, the iPhone tells the charger, I can accept 22 watts of power right now. And the charger replies, okay, coming right up. Then after the fast charging cycle is over, usually around 70% territory, the iPhone software slows charging on down. So bottom line on single port fast chargers, get one with at least 20 watts and one with a USB-C port. Apple has released its own 20 watt option for $19. But these two little cubes, the Augkey Omnia Mini and the Anchor Nano are about the same price and even smaller. Also, if you're not getting the new iPhone 12, which already comes with that USB-C to lightning cord, make sure you get a good one, like this one from Anchor. But multi-port chargers are the charging holy grail. One charger uses one wall plug to power all your devices at the same time. No more carrying around different chargers for different gadgets. These chargers have gotten smaller and more powerful because of a new technology inside nicknamed GAN, based on components made from gallium nitride. This stuff, but not bought on Amazon. Actually, this is just the gallium part, and yeah, it's really fun to play with. Instead of typical silicon, gallium nitride can be 40% more energy efficient. That means they can pack more power into a smaller, cooler space. Just look at these. This is Apple's 61 watt charger, and this is Augkey's 100 watt GAN charger. GAN chargers are still capable of that PD system, and it's really important with these devices. It has to communicate with all these devices to balance how much power goes to each of them. MacBook Pro needs some power? Here you go. iPhone, here's some watts for you. Apple Watch and iPad, some more for you. The biggest questions to ask yourself when looking for a multi-device GAN charger, how many watts do you need, and how many ports? This was my favorite two-port GAN charger, with enough power to fast charge a phone and a laptop. This was my favorite four-port one. 
Wait, hold up. What about wireless charging? Isn't that the real future? Sure, but right now it's just slow, or at least it has been. Older iPhone models supported 7.5 watts via the Qi wireless charging standard. And you've needed to place the phone in just the right spot of the charging pad for it to start working and to get max power. The iPhone 12 models have the new magnetic disc in the back to help with that. And with the new $39 MagSafe wireless charger, it supports up to 15 watts of power. I haven't been able to test it yet, but stay tuned for my results in my full iPhone 12 reviews. But the answer should be clear, regardless of what iPhone you have. Go buy a new USB-C fast charger and a USB-C cord and enjoy the fast speeds. And the fact that these things are now no more than a coffee coaster or paperweight or necklace.